Hello everyone, welcome to Video Diary Day 23. Before I start this video, I want to introduce a, someone who is in my family member and has been for anywhere from a year and a few months to almost two years. This is Benji, um, my grandma's dog, Gypsy, who is a Pickapoo, ended up getting pre pregnant by one of our other dogs that we gave away not long after he got her pregnant but he was a mix between a Dotson and a Chihuahua no wait yeah Dotson and Chihuahua and uh, well this little guy is the result and uh, he had two sisters we gave one of them to my little sister so she could take to her to mom's place and, uh, oh, the reason I'm looking up is because there's a fucking spider that I, I'm gonna... It's invading my personal bubble, so I'm gonna kill it later. I tried to once, uh, this is the second time I'm making the video, but anyway, uh... Yeah, she ended up getting killed because of my mom's neighbors being a dick and poisoned her. And, uh, this... The, the other sister, we ended up keeping here. And, um, she... Uh, died, I want to say last week, or the week before that... Um, because of giving birth to the puppies real late at night, and, uh, nobody was around when it happened. But, uh, yeah, he's the only one left out of the puppies. And, um, the reason he's in the video with me is because he got out of the dog lot somehow, and was on the front porch, so I picked him up and brought him in here for the night. But, um... There's, an, there's another part to the story to why he's in here, and I'll get into that. But first, I want to say, uh, tonight's video isn't going to be the same normal video where I tell how my day was and then talk about or bitch about whatever's bothering me. But instead, tonight's video, I'm just going to pretty much do th both of those things all at once. And, uh, well, for starters... Uh, this morning I went to Western Union to get, the, to get the money order that a friend sent to me, and when I got there, uh, the lady goes, what's your name? I go, I'm Josh Rowland. I called this morning about a money order. She's like, you're not Josh Rowland. Josh Rowland came in here on Saturday to get a few money orders. I'm like, I am Josh Rowland. She's like, uh, no, you're not. I'm like, here, I'll fucking prove it. I gave her my ID. She looks at it, and then looks at me, and then looks at it again. And there was, a, like, a, a small silence, you know, like a pause of silence. And uh, she goes, oh, well, the Josh Rollins I know came in on uh, Saturday and got into the orders. She repeated herself, you know. And I'm like, well, that wasn't me, but I was the one who called earlier today, like I said. And... So I got the money order, I went to Walmart to go get me a camera, that way I wouldn't have to continue using my webcam, you know, just to make one video a night. I wanted to be able to go out and, you know, make videos outside or, you know, take it with me if I go somewhere, you know, like to the store or whatever. And, uh, well, I got there and I was talking to my grandma, and the only cameras that I saw pretty much involved AA batteries. But the good ones, you know, they were like 100 and, well, 199 to 300 or whatever, I don't remember, but, um, so I didn't have enough money, and my grandma was like, oh, well, you, you can buy my camera, my purple camera, and she said, because I really need the money right now. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and come on home, and, uh, we, we will talk about it more. Well, uh, before anything before any of that I went to the gas station and gave my grandpa five dollars and change for gas because he was empty and then he took me to West Union All right, but anyway after we left Walmart we stopped off at Martin Murphy's gas station which is the Walmart beside or the, the gas station beside Walmart and I got my grandpa one pack of cigarettes and I got myself two packs of cigarettes but before that I uh, got me a pack of Newports in Walmart, and I ended up getting two packs of Marlboro Menthol 72s because they were 3.23 a pack, and um, yeah. 
So I went home, I talked to my grandma, and I, I ended up calling my friends, seeing if they were going to be able to send me some more money, because they offered to, and uh, they're like, well, I might be able to in a few days, maybe, and I'm like, alright, well, just keep me posted. And I told my grandma that conversation, and I told her, well, you know, if they don't send me the money, I'll buy your camera off of you. I'm like, here, I'll give you $40 to hold on, you know, $40 for now. And if I don't get the money from my friend, I'll give you the rest of it for your camera. And my grandma got pissed off at me saying, oh, no, you can just keep your goddamn money. And I'm like, well, I have at least $85 or whatever. Well, I ended up getting 85 back because she paid me back for the cigarettes, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, you know, I told her I had $80 at the time. I didn't count the silver that I had, you know, it was just green. So, uh... Yeah, um, that's pretty much that. That was pretty much that, and uh, well, she jumped down my throat and everything, and she she uh, started yelling at me for other things. Uh, I took, I gave, well, I helped take the trash off. Well, I met my uncle and his friend halfway, you know. I basically walked outside and gave them the trash bags they took it off, but uh, after that, went back upstairs and I, I tried to eat some french fries because it was, you know, my little sister and all the other kids came home from school and my grandma cooked french fries for everybody. So I tried to eat some french fries and uh, I had to go get my uncle's clothes from the laundry room and bring them upstairs because he was too fucking lazy to do it himself. After that... I had to do a few other things for my grandma, and, uh, I didn't have a chance to actually sit down and eat, you know? So I got pissed off, and I gave my french fries to the cats, and my grandma got pissed off about that, and then, uh, I played dodgeball with my little cousin Jacob for a little while, I move the cat cage from where it is like as soon as you walk out of my bedroom there's you know my walkway well it was on the side under a tree and I ended up having to me and my cousin moved it from that spot all the way down the bank to where the pear tree is and now it's under the pear tree and uh then I had to help my uncle once again put uh, his seats back in his girlfriend's van. Girlfriend's van. That's a confusing line. And after I did that, I came back upstairs and I, I was trying to, I asked my grandma if I can stop, like, trying to figure out what I want to say and actually say it. But I asked my grandma to see if she could find a doctor, like a, a number to a neurosurgeon who takes Medicaid because I woke up this morning, well, from one of my power naps, and, uh, which are, like, you know, five, ten minutes, you know, every so, like, every so often throughout the day, but anyway, uh, my left ear was, oh, well, not my left, but my right, I've been saying my left ear when it's my right ear the entire time, I'm, like, stupid, my right ear, uh, was stopped up, you know, like, how you go down, like, from one place to, like, another town or something? and it's the pressure in your ears and you like always try to pop your ears so you can hear again well ever since my car accident back in September uh, I've had like that same pressure in my right ear and it won't go away you know and I've had constant migraines since then and as I've explained before in a video uh, sometimes like you know how radio statics well um like, if, like, I could be laying, like, on my right ear, and I could roll over or, you know, stand up to go do something, and all I hear is static in my ear. And, uh, after, you know, I asked her to call a neurosurgeon, or find the numbers I can call when they're open, because it was too late to call anybody today. And, oh, well, my migraines are getting worse. Hell, even Aleve's or Advil or Tylenol don't take them away. It, like they used to for a few minutes but they'd come back but now they don't even take them away at all yeah you know, I can up the dosage on them on the you know 
LEDs or whatever and all that, and it don't do anything. You know, I've tried other things, and that don't help either. Oh, what are you doing, Benji? You lay down. Good boy. Yes, you are. And, well, my grandma has been down my throat all day, basically, because I didn't give her the whole, you know, the entire 80-some dollars all at once. Well, after that, uh, my aunt came up here. And when she did, our neighbor's dog followed her up. And uh, I, I think I talked about this in one of my vid other videos. I don't, I don't know for sure. I, I keep thinking I said something that I probably didn't say. But anyway, our neighbor has two puppies. One of them is like a, a hound and something mixed. And the other one is a German Shepherd Rottweiler mix. Well, the German Shepherd Rottweiler, she looks like my, my old dog, Valo, the one who was murdered by my neighbor last year. Well, um, so she came up here again, and uh, I ended up walking her down to our neighbor's place, but nobody was home, so I brought her and the other puppy up here because it followed me back up. And I, I kept them in my room until our neighbor pulled up in the driveway. And I was talking to my neighbor, and I asked if the uh, if she was going to get rid of them, and for how much she was going to charge for it. She was like, "Well, you know, I, I rescued these dogs, and I've been taking care of them and everything. And if if I knew they were going to a good home, I'd just give them away." And well, our neighbor, she knows me pretty well. She knows my entire family. And uh, I was like, "Well, um, I'm actually wanting to, to get the dog off you if it's possible." And I, t I was like, yeah, my grandma won't approve of it because she said there's, you know, no other animals coming into this house. But, uh, I told her I was going to do it anyway, and she's like, okay. I was like, I'll talk to you. She goes, I get off work at 2 o'clock tomorrow because I said I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you more about it tomorrow, and she's like, okay, that's when I get, I get off work at so-and-so time. And I was like, well, I'll try to walk down about 5 o'clock in the, uh, you know, evening to, and talk to you about it some more. And she was like, okay. And she, she left with the two dogs. And after that, I told my grandma that I was going to get me another dog. And she's like, there ain't no more animals coming in this house. And I'm like, okay, so you'll let Uncle Jimmy, oh, you know, I, I, call, I call him Jimmy, but, you know, he's my uncle. And anyway, so I... You let Jimmy bring up a dog, a dog, every so often, but eventually get rid of him. And then you let him bring up some fucking possums and whatever else he can find. And you don't say a damn thing to him. But you sit there and you make my life a living hell. You told me that I can't keep the cats, but I did anyway. And uh, come on, Benji. Come on. Oops, something fell. Good boy. Ah, and uh, she's like, "Oh, well, don't fucking start! I don't want to hear it," you know. And she did that whole little psycho bitch laugh she does. Good boy, Benji. Yeah. And we were talking more about it. Oh, well, I was talking. She was yelling. Go lay down. Go lay down. Or not. Stubborn dog. I don't want you to get hurt. But yeah, uh, we were talking about it and everything, and she basically said, if you bring that dog up here, then uh, you're gone. So I'm pretty much maybe moving out tomorrow. I don't know. I might just bring the dog up here, keep it in my room, and see how it goes. But also, before the video time runs out, um... She was like, oh, well, you said if you're going to get your dog, you'd get rid of the cats. I was like, yeah, I said if I bought me a dog, I'd get rid of the cats. Well, I haven't bought me a dog, and I'm getting this one for free, so technically I don't have to get rid of the cats. And, uh, well, my days that's how my day has been, and it's been hell. And, uh, well, yeah, that's my day. I'll be homeless tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. We'll just see. If you get a video from me, I'll tell you everything. But... Until tomorrow, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I apologize for ranting, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go watch, uh, Nim's Island.